Hello guys, I hope you are doing really, really well. Today I have with me Microsoft Surface Pro 9 and in today's video, I am going to test a 3D modeling app. Name of the app is Shaper 3D. And I will also show you some of the basics of how to use this app. So first of all, how to install this app. So you have to go into the Microsoft store okay so once you open the microsoft store you just have to write here shaper 3d s h a p r and then you have to type 3d without any space okay and then just search for it so once you search you will see over here the shaper 3d app is available so you just select it so once you select it it will ask you if you want to install it so you can install it i already installed it and i will open it now so now i will open this shaper 3d app so this is how it looks like on the top left side you see there are three options discover design and learn so i just select this designs option once you select it here you you can see it is showing you new design option with the plus icon just selected once you select this plus icon it will open the app where you can do all your 3d modeling the first thing is about unit of measurement so here on top side you can see over here it is showing you 1 mm okay so if you just select it it will open a new window where you can select different units for example if you want to select centimeter you can select centimeter meter okay inch foot so whatever unit you want you can select i just select this millimeter from here the next thing is on the left side it is showing you uh, the item manager so if you don't want it you can select this icon over here and it will remove uh, the next thing is you can change the orientation okay so here you can see there is a small cube over here okay so if you just move it so you can see i can easily change the orientation okay and it is also showing you if uh, you want to see on top or right or front for example i want the orientation in the front okay so what i will do is so this is the front so i just tap it one time like this so it will open the front orientation for me okay you can also use one finger to change the orientation for example i can just move it like this okay so you can see the box is also moving over here so with just one finger i can change the orientation okay so for example i want the front so i just select it like this it will open the front orientation for me on the left side we have different tools available so you can see we have sketch add transform so different tools available over here now for example i want to uh, draw a line so i just select this sketch option once i select this sketch option it will show me more options over here so i can draw a line i can draw circle ellipse polygon so different things i can draw for example i just select this line option so i just select this automatic line now what i will do i will just draw a line like this okay so you can see i just draw this line now once i draw this line you can see it is showing me a measurement box over here there is a small box over here so if you just select it it will open a small calculator and here you can uh, do the measurement of your line you can select any measurement you can change it as well for example i don't want 10 i want like 20 and then i press this tick sign okay so you can see over here now it is a 20 mm okay so this is how you can uh, change the measurement of a line okay now i will uh, draw more line i will uh, just try to draw this line like this okay and now i will move it like this i will go down okay and then i will take it like this okay and then i will uh, make it more okay so for example i draw this line till here but i want to extend it so once you bring your pen closer to this it is showing you the end point you can just select it once you select it now you can extend it easily so i will extend it like here now what i will do i will just select it like that and then i will draw one more line over here and now i will draw one line from here okay now you can see this is how it looks like from one finger i can change its dimension if you want to zoom in you can use two fingers okay so you can pinch it and it will zoom for you okay and uh, you can also uh, change its sides as well okay so you can do it from here as well now i will uh, make one more part over here i will just uh, draw 
line okay and i will show you what i am trying to draw okay so i will just change this one okay so for example i made a mistake over here now i want to undo it so here on top left corner we have this undo and redo icon okay so i just select this undo icon okay i will do it one more time so you can see now it is undo now i will try to draw again okay so i will draw this line like this and i will make it till here now everything is done now if you want to select any part of your drawing for example i want to select this part you just select it like this okay so you can see now it is selected once you select it here on the left side it will open tools for you okay and here you can see this option of more i just select this more option and here you can see there are different tools available for example i select this revolve tool okay and now what uh, wherever you want to use this revolve tool you can ju just select that part i want to select it like this so here you can see it made this kind of shape for me and same thing i will do for here i just select this part okay and it will create this kind of shape okay and now you can see over here okay so this is how it looks like this is from the back side and this is how it looks like from the front okay once you finish you can press done from here okay so it means everything is done on this part so now let's move to the other tools for example if i select this add so if you just select add you have different options for example you want to add text just select this text option so here you can type any text okay so i will just write here uh, hello okay and then i press enter and then i continue okay so here you can see this is how my text look like okay and then if you want you can change its orientation you can change its side okay so this is how it looks like okay and then uh, once you finish you can press done the next is transform so if you just select this transform option so we have different options in transform you can move rotate scale translate a lot of things you can do if you just uh, close it and it will go back so here we have tools option if you just select tools so we have different tools option we already use this revolve tool okay but you can use the other tools as well okay so if you want to close you can close it from here the next one is measurement so if you just select it you can uh, change the measurements point to point measurements you can do it from here and then we have this visualization tool okay so for example if i want to select this visualization tool uh, i will just try visualization now okay so it will open a new window on the right side okay so now here we have uh, uh, this uh, 3d model okay so for example i want to change the color so here are different options available so you can see this plastic okay this carbon fiber okay we have different options available okay so for example uh, we have uh, this uh, copper polished okay so what i will do is i just press and hold it i will just bring it into uh, my model okay so you can see it change its color okay i just bring it like this and then i will put it over here okay and then for example if you don't want you want some other one for example uh, we have this uh, rose gold okay so i just select this uh, polished rose gold okay so i will just put it and here this is how it looks like so you can change these materials there are different options then we have this environment option so you can change it then we have this camera option you can also use this option the next thing if you want to import something uh, any image or anything in your uh, 3d model you can just select these three dots you see this import option you can select it it will take you to the location uh, on your tablet where you want to insert something the next thing is if you finish your work you can export it so here is the export option so it will give you different options over here okay and then for example if you want to share we have this share option you can share it if you want to change the view you can select this icon okay so this is basically a view this is the same thing that i already mentioned in this box so here you can see it is showing you top bottom front back so whatever you want and it is also showing you the grid position as well so guys once you finish with your work okay once you finish with your 3d modeling and uh, you want to go back you can go back from here it will auto automatically save and it will show you in your designs okay so you can see i will go back so here it is showing me in my designs okay so if you want to delete the design what you can do is just select this option of select 
this icon just select it just select whatever design you want to delete i want to delete this one i just select it like this and here you can see it is showing me the delete option so i just select it it will ask me if i want to delete it will be permanently deleted so i can delete it from here okay and then if i want to start a new design i will cancel it and from here i will start a new design now for example i want to draw uh, some kind of a shape i just select this sketch option for example i select this circle okay and now i will try to draw this circle okay now i just select it and here you can see it is showing me two arrows so if i just use this arrow upward it will create a shape like this okay and then if i just select this side arrow you can see this is how it moves okay so it's called extrude okay so you can see over here so you can do it like this if uh, you want more detail about this 3d app uh, you can ask me in the comment and i will make a separate video about it so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much